okay so hi everybody uh welcome to my channel this channel is called go hna it stands for go healthy natural active um if you see me looking up sometimes it's because i actually have a mirror so i will be looking up there at times but um yeah welcome here uh while we talk health holistic health specifically and that means the alignment of your mind spirit and body so i guess if you're watching this video is because you're either tempted to try the surviving vegan detox challenge or you've tried it or you're actually going through the detox either way we're gonna talk about it so I would like to start by pretty much talking about what the detox challenge is and essentially my experience with it thus far i'm actually going through the challenge and um i've completed day one so i'm currently on day two and i'm gonna make it just a one day recap like a day one recap to pretty much uh, make this a series so every day there's gonna be reflections on what i've experienced um each day of the detox and some reflections pretty much because i know some people they prefer to have some sort of some guidance and some like a, an accountability partner someone to rely on every day to keep them going so you're at the right place let's start with what the challenge is all about so if you see me looking down i actually have my laptop right in front of me and i have plenty of notes so this is going to be a very informative video so grab a drink or a snack or a notepad because we're really going to talk about why this detox uh, why this challenge and what exactly is what exactly it's in there right so essentially it's a 10 days detox uh program where you're really f going to flush out toxins out of your body right it's detox and um it targets mainly your liver your kidneys and it cleans uh, your colon uh, that's really what it is about and you're pretty much um it's a raw food diet for 10 days with the exception of one cooked meal i believe it's lentils um and then there's a calendar it's very structured it tells you every day what to eat at every hour um you're pretty much gonna drink a lot of water um so it's very structured uh i came across this challenge from a friend um so i was like hey why not let me try this um new year resolutions we're trying to be healthier so i said why not um so essentially there are six organs that are responsible for the body's natural detoxification process and that includes your liver your kidneys your lungs lymph colon and skin but for the purpose of this video we're mainly going to talk about liver uh, the kidneys the colon yeah those three <laughs> so what's your liver your liver main role is to really clean and filter every ounce of blood and transform harmful chemicals to turn them into elimination and your liver is also going to transform and transform or metabolize all chemical substances and that also include the good kinds of chemicals so bitter foods and fruits that promote the body's production of internal antioxidants are better for liver detoxification and when we're talking about detoxification some of the foods that will help to support your liver include cabbage broccoli garlic beets salad grains lemon juice and green apples um, some bitter herbs to support the liver would include dandelion and yellow dog i don't know what the yellow dog is <laughs> But I've had some dandelion tea and it's very bitter, but it's very good. So, um, now let's talk about the kidneys. 
So your kidneys roll, you have two of them, <laughs> is to flush waste and toxins from your blood by turning it into urine after that blood has been cleaned by the liver. So the end product of your blood going through your liver, then kidneys, is your urine and that's waste. Um, to support detoxification of your kidneys, it is recommended to drink about um, two quarts of water equivalent of 2.5 liters or 8 ounces, I mean, 8 cups of water and that's every day. Um, and foods that can support your kidney, your kidney flush include water, parsley, cilantro, green tea, cranberry. Um, now let's talk about the colon. Uh, your colon is the large intestine that has a main job and its main job is to eliminate solid waste so that it's not recirculated into the bloodstream. Um, your colon also houses protective bacteria that make up the body's ecosystem called the microbiome. And um, to support your colon detox, it needs to get rid of old stool and as we know it, many people struggle with constipation because of a bad diet. Um, but the good news is that you can help your colon to detox and by and you can do that by increasing uh, your intake of fiber rich foods and drinking plenty of water. Food that can support your colon detoxification include lentils, chia seeds, lactofermented foods that are sauerkraut, kimchi, apple cider vinegar, um, root vegetables like sweet potatoes, beets, turnips onion and garlic, apple, all that good stuff. And if you want some herbs um, to detox your colon, uh, that would be psyllium, aloe vera, dandelion. Um, so, yeah, and all that, it's important to mention all of that because these are some of the elements to keep in mind when doing the surviving vegan detox because I'm one of those people who likes to know why am I doing something and what's the science behind it? Like, why does it make sense? Or does it even make sense to begin with? We should, we're at an age of information overload where we shouldn't just accept in something, take it for truth and just run with it. You always have to double check facts, especially in today's day and age where, you know, people are out for quick profit and stuff like that. You have to look out for yourself. So, Taking all that into consideration, you go back into the actual uh, schedule of the detox itself, and then you look at some of the elements, some of the the produce that are in there to help you detox, and you see that they actually do support uh, detoxification of the body. So. On day one, you're pretty much supposed to do a liver and kidney flush, and you do a, like a mucus buster. You drink up to 43 ounces of water. You have to eat cantaloupe. You, you're eating pineapples and aloe vera. You're eating grapefruit. Um, so all of this, all of these, this is all food that actually helps to detox your body, right? So if we start with the benefits of olive oil. Let's start with olive oil because olive oil is one of the elements that's included um, in the kidney liver flush um, as part of the program. So olive oil is has a good advantage. So the main advantage of performing, of performing a liver cleanse is that you're getting rid of excess bile that builds up over time, right? And olive oil is great. It's amazing. It helps to cleanse your liver. So olive oil is one of those best all natural solutions available to cleanse your liver. Um, drinking a lot of it actually helps to open the bowel ducts. So bowel ducts in, inside your body, they open up and they process excess quantities of oil, anything that was previously stuck so they can easily flow out. Um, and then you have garlic, 
and the benefits of garlic is that garlic will help to protect against liver cancer reduce fat accumulation in the liver protect the liver from toxins so what's important to know here is that if you are overweight if you are not at the weight that you're supposed to be for your age for your height for your height um that means you have a fatty liver okay and that means you're overweight so the liver is the first place where fat is stored and too much of fat pretty much gonna spill over in the rest of your body so if you're seeing excess fat throughout your body that means your liver to begin with is already fat and you want to attack that fatty that fat in your liver because the liver has been one of your main organs that is sustaining life in your body you want to make sure that's working at its maximum capacity that's why those detox are important and a detox that is pretty much targeting the good function of your liver is a good sign you know um and then we use a lot of the lime in this detox and essentially limes are rich um they enriches your skin with vitamin c limes motivate a digestive system okay they relieve constipation um but limes also detoxifies the liver with the citric acid that it contains and balances the hormones inside the human body um helping everyone to be healthy and strong um so your body can work efficiently um now let's talk about cayenne pepper so cayenne pepper um as you see on the screen has so many benefits it boosts immunity um helps in digestion lowers bas bad cholesterol um and then we use a lot of cantaloupes uh, in this detox program and cantaloupes are good to reduce stress um, they prevent cancer promotes healthy skin lower um, blood pressure levels and promotes good at sight and etc and we use a lot of grapefruit um, and grapefruit aids in weight loss promotes hydration improves skin quality listen at the end of this detox i better be glowing because <laughs> i'm eating it's, it's nutrient rich so all that good stuff you know that's promoting the health of your organs and also promoting promoting good skin healthy skin um this is this is great this is like where you want to be and we also use a lot of pineapples and pineapples support the immune system um, they are anti-inflammatory uh, they aid in digestion they prevent cancer and so many other good things so this is just to give you a quick overview of some of the some of the foods that's included in this detox right and now if you've made it thus far into this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment i am curious to 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 know what your thoughts and opinion about this detox so far and would you try it and if you, if if you've tried it what was your experience did you enjoy it so now we're going to talk about my experience with this detox so far um yesterday um uh, i started I started the challenge I had gone to the grocery store and I bought about five days worth of produce uh, because it's a lot it's a lot of food it's a lot of water um, so we have a specific schedule and it starts I believe at 8 a.m. and runs until 9 p.m. but for me and the way my schedule is structured I could only start at 9 so what I did I pretty much just make sure that the time I was I was starting that I was counting so I can match um, the the time in the schedule that in that's in the the booklet right um, so if the detox is supposed to start at 8 after that 9 and then I believe the next you have to, you, have, you were supposed to drink like 43 ounces of water by I believe 9 a.m. I was drinking my at 10 a.m. something like that so I make sure to um, to pretty much respect the gap in between meals and stuff like that because that's very important um and 
I feel great, you know, I feel great throughout the day. I, I stayed very consistent. I respected to the, I was going to say to the T, but listen, it's just a lot of water. Uh, one of the advice that um, Orisha Oshun provides is that you're supposed to drink up to a gallon of water every day. I'm not going to do that. There's just a lot of water. And I, the science is, explains that not everybody needs that much water every single day because th the amount of water that you need is based on your, I believe, BMI and some other factors. Um, not everyone needs a gallon of water per day. The standard is pretty much 2.5 liters. That is not a gallon. Um, so I did not drink a gallon of water, if anything. I even struggled to drink a liter of water. So that was to show you. And there I, re I realized, hmm, I'm going to need to increase my water intake. Um, but overall, the day went, the day went well. Um, what was rough was the mucus buster. That's like four limes that you juice and you drink. That was very sour. I mean, that was to be expected. It's lime, right? <laughs> um, what else? And then the kidney liver flush. I didn't like the taste. The um, the garlic in there was very strong, so it was whatever. Um, what I did struggle with, however, was the there was a detox drink with pineapple and aloe vera. Aloe vera is very bitter, like, and you're supposed to take cascara sagrada pills. I did not get the cascara sagrada i couldn't find it and when i found it online it was just too expensive i was just like it's not that deep i'm just gonna go with because you can substitute the cascara sagrada pills for aloe vera and i was like i'm just gonna have aloe vera so i just put more aloe vera in my um in my detox drink with the pineapple and this was bitter that was oh my god very uncomfortable to drink <laughs> But I got through it and I felt good um, and it got me thinking. I just started reflecting about why I was doing this detox because at the end of the day, you have to do it to cleanse your body, right? It's not for weight loss. It's not what well, is for me. It's not for weight loss. It's really me needing a reset. You know what I mean? Like the um, the year ended, 2022 ended, the holidays happened. I just felt like it was the right time for me to just give my body a break as we're setting into this this new season, this new year and stuff like that. Um, so, and one of the things that kept coming, coming up to me because when you're doing a detox, it's good to take time to just pray and meditate and think about like that transformation happening in your body and just thinking about how your body is working to remove all those toxins inside of you. I just started thinking about how, how the body is such an amazing, excellent organism and complex that deserves respect and um, that we should honor the best that we the best that we can right because our body is doing its best to keep us alive every single day although we're feeding it all kinds of crap <laughs> let's be honest now but the moment what i realized is that the moment you start feeding your body good food good stuff good nutrients your body gravitates it grabs onto <clears throat> the smallest piece of nutrient that you feeds it so it can support and sustain itself. So think about how you're doing, you're honoring your body while doing this detox. And if you feel discouraged, take a step back and ask yourself, is that harming your body? You know, like what good is it doing to keep harming your body? Um, because this is, this is part of you and <clears throat> When you're in symbiosis with um, with this with this, uh, I guess envelope. When you're in symbiosis with your body, it it's it's only gonna be beneficial for your life, you know. So take it day by day. Like don't stress yourself. This is not my first ro rodeo to doing detox challenges. So for me, it's not as hard. My cravings are. I, I, I've been able to keep them at bay um, 
because prior to starting this detox challenge although i'm not on the facebook group i'm not like watching all the resources that come with it because i, I again i did not pay for this um i just got the pdf from a friend um i'm like okay you really do have to do a preparation before you start this detox and from what i've was able to gather from other youtube videos um people were um cutting meat processed foods before they start the actual detox so they can like ease into it and not they, and not do it cold turkey but for me i had pretty much started since around mid-december by eating clean i was eating cleaner obviously it wasn't clean every single day but for the most part i was drinking way more water than usual i was eating more fruits and vegetables so my body was already prepared to transition into a detox and i was thinking about it i wasn't sure if i wanted to do it but the year started and i said why not why not detox um but one thing i will say is though it's a lot of water and food so be mindful of your body of what it signals to you if this is too much water just cut back if this is too much food just don't force yourself to eat it all because i don't think when they created this challenge it took into consideration i think it's just a standard that you have to maneuver and customize for your needs but obviously respect the <laughs> do your best to respect the um the food items in there like what they suggest for you to eat make sure you eat them and i guess another probably another downside of this is that there aren't really much room for you to do substitution so if you're allergic to garlic, I'm not sure <clears throat> what the alternative is for you to eat. So that's one of the challenges with this detox. But thank you for watching. Um, this is all I have for today. I will be coming up with video number two on day two and then day three until day 10. So make sure to come back for video number two. Until then, stay blessed, take care. I'll see you again.